Hello guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial showing you guys how to make um, characters with the skin modifier. So what you see here is nothing more than a vertex that we've extruded and we're using some modifiers here, primarily the skin modifier um, with a mirror and a subdiv to smooth it out and just quickly extruding it and making something from a model sheet. Now I'm not providing this model sheet and this is not a final product tutorial. This is just kind of teaching you guys the little workflow here. And the good use for this would be for a base mesh to do your sculpting. So you'd get your model sheet, you would quickly, very quickly, in a matter of like half a minute or two minutes, make the overall design. Then you can sculpt it after you've applied the skin modifier, or you could even just apply it and then model it further because it makes some pretty nice clean topology. So if this is something you'd like to learn, keep watching. If you want to do something a little bit more complicated, you can check out some of my other videos. But um, let's dive into this tutorial. If you don't already have a model sheet to follow along with, you can find tons of them online. You can take a screenshot of this one. This was actually provided to me by a friend of mine who said I'm allowed to use it for tutorials. Um, but the point here is learning how to use the skin modifier. So um, what it doesn't matter really what model sheet you're working off of, it all can kind of work the same. So let's start by actually adding in an object. We're gonna go Shift A. Uh, you could use any object. I mean, go with a cube, tab into edit mode, and then with everything selected, just press F3 and type in merge and just go merge at center. And it's gonna merge it here at the center of the world. In this case, you can see we have a little vertex there. And um, that single vertex is all we need for now. Let's just quickly tab back out into object mode. Let's go to modifiers. Let's give this a skin modifier under the generate. So we're gonna go down here to skin. And now it's gonna add this geometry around that vertex and it's in the form of a modifier. What we're also gonna do is go and give this a mirror modifier. And let's drag the mirror modifier above here. So whatever we do here, mirrors on the other side. Um, we'll leave clipping disabled for now. And then what we're gonna do is minimize these and let's go ahead and give it a subdivision surface modifier. Make sure that one sits at the bottom. And let's just bump it up to two and drop that down. So now let's tab into edit mode. And with this here selected, this vertex, we can now press G to move it. And you can see it moves around. But let's just go G, Z and move it up on the Z axis to about the middle of the body. Our vertex or our object um, origin point is here at the bottom, which is usually where we want it to be. But if you actually, in this case, I'm in a wireframe, I'll just quickly press Z and go into solid. You can see this is what we have, right? If I now grab that vertex, I can go S to scale it, but it won't do anything. If you wanna scale this, you have to go Control A or Command A on a Mac. That'll allow you to scale this. So in your viewport, if you have a model sheet, it's always cool to try and work from two perspectives. So it, it, you, you're not making a mistake. So let's just come up here to the corner up here, you can see a little um, cross thing, left click and just drag, open up another window. And in this window, press free on your number pad to go into your right or for graphic view. And this is a really great setup. If you um, have gotten to this point, just go control S or command S to save your blend file. And at this point, it's very easy and straightforward. So at the moment we have a vertex selected here and we've already gone control A to scale it. But what we're gonna do now in this view here is we're gonna select that, we're gonna go E to extrude and then Z and extrude it up onto Z, okay? And now you can see we've scaled it here and in the side here, we can see it's a little bit too far back. So we're gonna go G over here and move it forward. And let's scale that one down. So if that one's still selected, we're gonna go Control A and just scale it down. And you can see what we've done here. You can easily come in here and adjust the sides and the front view. Let's select this vertex here. Let's go E to extrude and Z and extrude up to about the middle of the chest here. And let's go Alt S and scale that one up. Come here to the side. And over here, we wanna scale it a little bit differently. So let's just press N to bring up our properties panel. And we're gonna come here under the vertex data, under the item. And let's change the radius on the Y to make it a little bit skinnier. So you can see it's only happening on the Y, but not in the X. We're now gonna take that Go E to extrude and Z, extrude that point up to the bottom of the neck. And let's go and take that radius down for both of the, the X and Y, so like this. And then over here in the side, we can just go G and move it more to the base of the neck. And it's gonna be a little bit tricky sometimes to get it just right, but it's all about just adjusting it as you go. So just grabbing that vertex there, 
and then you can extrude that point up as the neck and make sure that you're looking at the front view whenever you're doing this sort of thing and just scaling accordingly so it all matches up. So you can see how easily we're adding in topology. So once you have a little neck going, you can go E to extrude it again. Extrude it to about the middle of the head or maybe a little bit lower. And at this point, I like to go Control A again and just scale that up. And then at the side view here, let's just go to that Y radius and make it a little bit wider. At the front here, maybe we can go a little bit more on the X till it makes sense. And then E to extrude and Z to extrude it up in the Z to the top of the head. And let's lower it at the front by doing the X. And the side view, let's bring it down on that Y. So you can see how easy it is here. Some things here like are not going to make a whole lot of sense at first. So you can always adjust them a little bit afterwards move them around. But what you can also do with the skin modifier when you get to like the head part here is grab the middle vertex if you have one in the head. Then you can go E to extrude and extrude kind of forward to about where the face would be. And then you can go control A and you can scale that down a little bit, move it till you get kind of like the bottom part of the face. Now, so now you can see it's matching up over here, but over here it's flattened out the head a little bit. So just come over here, select the top vertex, control A, and just scale that up a little bit again, like so. And the idea here is just to roughly make the initial model, because remember, you can always sculpt this later on. So you can see how quickly we've made this rough body topology. Let's go over here in our front view. Let's extract an arm over here by coming to one of the points in the chest, maybe about here. And then we're gonna go in the front view E to extrude and extrude it out to about where the shoulder is. And then we're gonna go Control A, scale that down and that is a simple way to make a shoulder point like so make sure it looks okay in your side view you may have to go to wherever your model sheet is look at it through wireframe and make sure it's roughly where the shoulders should be in this case it makes a lot of sense it's okay roughly in the right place and then you can take that point you can go e to extrude extrude it out a little bit and then go Control a to scale it up and this is all just a matter of scaling and moving it around as you're extruding, making sure it looks okay in both views. Then you can take that point, extrude it, usually to about the middle somewhere. Then go Control A, scale a little bit, and then E to extrude again. Bring it to about the wrist area and then Control A and make it a bit smaller. Always make sure to also go to the top from every now and then, just to select a point that is a bit too big. You can go to the vertex data over here. In this case, I'll probably bring it down on, on the X a little bit like that. Grab this one here, probably do the exact same thing and just adjust them till they look all right there as well. It's always gonna be a matter of just slightly adjusting and scaling. But you can see how quickly we're making the body mesh over here just using the skin modifier. Now with the legs, it can be a little bit more tricky. If you select the bottom of where we started, here where the stomach is, you can now go in your front view, E to extrude, Z to bring it down into Z, bring it to about here, and then E to extrude and bring one to the side. And if that vertex, you're gonna go Control A and you're gonna scale it down a little bit, and then E to extrude that, and that's gonna make your legs. Make sure, as always, to go to your side reference and adjust any new extrusions so they match up there as well. And in this case, that looks about right. I'm gonna go Control A just to scale it up a bit and then E to extrude that down to where the knees are and then Control A scaling that down to make it smaller and coming here to the side reference to bring it in a little bit and um, making some small adjustments. Once you're happy with that, you can usually extrude it down a little bit. Control A just to make kind of like a knee area adjust it in the side and then you're going to come E to extrude that vertex all the way down to where the heels are and you're going to go control A and just scale it down. So the point I'm trying to convey here to you guys is just how simple it is to use something like the skin modifier to make a simple base mesh. Now you could either go ahead and you can sculpt this, you can apply these modifiers and you can use this as a really nice um, base for sculpting your character that you wanna make. So this saves you a lot of work, or you can apply this, and you can actually come in here and build. Because if you now go over just your object properties, you go over down to the viewport display, you can enable wireframe, and you can actually see here, we're dealing with quite a neat 
topology. I'm going to turn off optimal display there. And to do something like this by hand, like getting a cube and then extruding things and pulling around the points, can take a long time. Even using the traditional subdivision surface modeling technique um, is even a little bit slower than this. So this is a great technique for getting some base meshes going, getting your initial concept started. And you can actually save this out as a file somewhere. In the future, if you have another human model or character, you can just drag this base mesh in with the modifiers. You can come in here, you can extrude and adjust the points, you can add different features. Um, it's really just such a simple thing to do. So this tutorial today was not about making a final result. I just wanted to kind of give, get this concept across to you guys so you can see how um, powerful this technique is and why you should probably try using it in your workflow. Another quick little thing I'll show you. If you're ever at a point where you want to add in some more points, you can select that vertex and you can go Control Shift B and you can just kind of bevel a vertex and that gives you some more control points to refine things a little bit. Um, but overall, I hope you guys are able to use this technique for something cool that you're busy working on. But yeah, that has been this tutorial for now. Um, I'll probably upload this um, example up to my Patreon if you guys wanna check it out. I do have some other cool stuff I'm working on at the moment, but I hope for now this skin modifier here and this little technique I've shown you is something you can use. And I'll see you guys in another video.